Maso Manipal and we are proud to present our rover for the University Rover Challenge 2023. The team comprises of 46 undergraduate students segregated into different subsystems based on their specialization in their respective fields. Our team's social outreach is primarily emphasized on improving access and equity in education, empowering young minds and making a positive impact on the society. These efforts are central to our work at MRM and we remain committed to making a meaningful difference each and every day. This year, we focused primarily on designing and fabricating a 6D of robotic manipulator and made further enhancements to our novel drive system. The upgraded drive system features PETG and TPU 3 bended wheels, which reduce weight and provide design flexibility. The wheel comprises a three-quarter floating assembly featuring revamped motor casings and multi-stage pandary gearboxes. Our custom fiber suspension delivers optimal ground conformability. The reconfigurable torsion spring assemblies allow for variation in spring constants, ensuring wheel-to-ground contact. Additionally, the suspension can be articulated to fit into required dimensions. The space frame chassis is manufactured using aluminium tubes to maximize rigidity, providing a sturdy mount for auxiliary rover modules. The robotic arm features a swivel base comprising a worm gearbox, iteratively designed to minimize backlash and prevent backdrive. The link of the arms are powered by coaxial worm assemblies, allowing for reduced rotational movement of inertia and increased range of motion that enables towing during traversal. The end effector consists of a lead screw based gripper powered by bevel differential that facilitates pitch and roll motion. For extreme delivery mission, the water vessel has been tested at multiple sites consisting of rocky fields and sandy slopes. Driver training involves picking up payloads of varying specifications and delivering them to specified locations accompanied by remote rock analysis using a GUI. To keep the robotic arm in a stable configuration during traversal, this year, we customized our software stack that allows seamless switching between drive mode and reach mode. A 6 duo of robotic arm system has been upgraded to 3R inverse kinematics using IMUs that significantly improved accuracy and precision within its workspace. The sensor fusion algorithm calculates the end effector's position, allowing us to set soft limits to avoid a state of singularity. The motor on each joint are controlled by a PID algorithm to achieve the desired angular values and end position. Adding encoders to the end effector motors has given us great control over the bevel gear differential. We have practiced typing commands on the keyboard, toggling switches, inserting a memory stick into a USB slot, operating a joystick, tightening Allen head fasteners, and inserting a cache container into a tight fitting drawers to increase our performance in the equipment servicing mission. Our rover incorporates custom PCB modules that can be stacked, reducing space requirements and improving cable management. We switched to the ESP32 microcontroller for its high clock frequency, reducing communication stack overhead on the main application processor. A kill switch is strategically placed on the rover for immediate emergency shutdown of all rover operations. For the science mission, we have implemented four chemical assays to detect the presence of extinct and extant life. The updated science module features a new lead screw based auger to collect soil samples while avoiding cross-contamination. The auger is coupled with a support plate that helps eliminate any eccentricity in rotation. Improvements include the integration of walls to prevent contamination between compartments and a guide for the peristaltic pump tubes to deliver chemicals. The tray houses a detachable container that can be closed using the auger to facilitate sample retrieval. This year, we have implemented a fluorometer to perform fluorescence-based assays for biomarker detection. We test for carbonates to signify extinct life. We have also added a test for labile carbon and a protein assay to test for extant life. Our rover also houses a sensor suite consisting of seven sensors for habitability analysis. The spectral sensor is used to analyze the chemical composition of the soil. The microscope allows for a close examination of the rocks to identify textures and crystal structures. Our custom rock database has now been integrated into a CNN for more accurate identification. We have developed a GUI using PyQt to receive and visualize sensor data at the base station. ROS framework is used to transmit image feed while RWIS is used for visualization. For the autonomous mission, a Jetson NX and a Raspberry Pi act as onboard processing units. The Z2 stereo camera and the LiDAR are used for perception. Differential GPS has been implemented by setting up an NTRIP server to transmit RTCM messages between the GPS sensors on the base station and the rover. Localization uses fused sensor data from the Z2, 3D LiDAR and the IMU obtained using an unscented Kalman filter. For smooth operation and robust obstacle avoidance, a custom sigmoid controller has been developed for different autonomous states. Aruko tags are detected on stereo images using the perspective endpoints algorithm for accurate pose estimation. Post and gate traversal is achieved by localizing the rover on the map. The base station and the rover use sector and omnidirectional antennas that operate on 2.4 GHz to send commands and receive feedback and 5 GHz to receive the video feed from the rover. The rover can operate up to 1 km in line of sight and 800 meters in non-line of sight conditions.